Right, come on. Let's go and find the others. You know Hasra? Yes. I think she likes you. <laughs> It's all rather, um, rather moving, isn't it? Uh, so not only uh, did the doctor meet his demise, or at least supposedly, at the hands of the Cybermen, but uh, we lose Bill and Nardole in this story. We've come full circle, haven't we, seeing, I think it was Heather, wasn't it, the pilot who had uh, come back and uh, turned Bill into the same type of being that she is. And again, I have to say congratulations to Pearl Mackey for an extraordinary performance. It was rather heartbreaking, wasn't it, seeing 
the doctor lying there. Um, and I'd forgotten somewhat that Heather and Bill sort of flew off into the universe together. Um, yeah, very, very moving indeed. Uh, and Nadal, of course, had stayed behind to look after the villagers on the ship. I think that was his last instruction from the doctor before he met his demise at the hands of the Cybermen. I'm not sure whether a doctor's regeneration has ever been specifically caused by the Cybermen. Um, thinking back, we had um, Billy Hartnell, of course, the 10th planet, the first appearance of the Cybermen, but um, his regeneration was brought on more by old age, but perhaps the Cybermen did play a part. But um, the Doctor certainly took a palpable hit uh, during this story. But it wasn't to be the regeneration story. That would come later, uh, which I think was another first for Doctor Who. But um, I think, although very bleak in some ways, seeing the Doctor lying there in that sort of plain and uh, Bill sobbing her eyes out. There's a somewhat of a more hopeful ending there, isn't there? Especially after Missy had also met her demise at the hands of the master who had, I suppose, in effect, uh, um, committed suicide. Mm. So much to take in and so much that we lost during this story. Mm. Moving.